The Lakers ran this hammer set late against the Mavs to tie the game and send it to overtime. Let's look at why this play worked because of a really bad illegal screen, but also how the Mavericks should have been ready for this play. Before we go too in depth into how the Lakers scored on this hammer play, let's talk about real quick what a hammer play is. A hammer play is simply a baseline drive with a weak side, almost flare screen to the opposite corner made famous by the San Antonio Spurs. Let's look at how the Lakers use their hammer play against the Mavs to send it into overtime. The play starts off with a zipper cut or a zipper screen for Avery Bradley to come off LeBron James. After he comes off of this zipper cut, we're gonna see LeBron go out to the wing and receive a pass. Dwight Howard is gonna fill on this weak side here and then Anthony Davis is gonna come up like he's, like he's going to set a ball screen for LeBron James. This is all just decoy action. Now in this scenario, the Mavericks are up three with 4.1 seconds left. As soon as LeBron takes this dribble and drives into the lane here, this should either be letting him shoot this open layup because the Lakers have zero timeouts left, or it should be a foul situation because you're up three with four seconds left. The risk reward really tells us that fouling is not that big of a deal. But instead, what happens is the Lakers set up a weak side hammer screen with Dwight Howard basically just, you know, grabbing onto Curry and holding him. But Maxi Kleba ended up coming and helping on this LeBron James drive for absolutely no reason. He could have just switched out and helped off and stayed on Danny Green. LeBron would have had basically nowhere to go with the pass. And instead, it allows this open three point jumper after a pump fake by Danny Green to tie the game. Now here's where the real issue begins. We can see that the Lakers run this exact same play on opening night against the Clippers. LeBron comes out, drives in the lane, Beverly overhelps inside the paint here, and when he overhelps inside the paint here, this allows a wide open corner three point shot. Even though the Lakers were down 10, this was setting up for the rest of the season. So the Mavericks should have been ready for this play to happen. Don't know if it was a miscommunication from the coaching staff to the players, if Kleba helped out when he shouldn't have, but either way, the Lakers got away with an easy hammer set that should have never happened.